All right. Let's do a few vegan staple items. And get into my refrigerator. And first thing that comes to mind is this. Now this makes just for easy use to have some sort of vegan mayonnaise around. You can make a sandwich, um, you can use it in recipes, you can use it in salad dressing. That makes it for one. Second being some kind of vegan butter. Again, this fills that hole if you've been used to using really real butter. It tastes very much the same uh, and it makes it easy so you can stick to a vegan recipe or a vegan uh, a vegan day. Uh, another big one that I love if you're a coffee drinker is some soy creamer. This stuff is the closest to half and half that I can come by. My only regret is that it's not an organic but that's okay. We also keep organic sweet, unsweetened milk around for different recipes. So as you can see, there's an array of vegetables, spinach, mushrooms. I keep beets, celery sticks, um, all for easy access. But let's walk over to the pantry and see what else there is. Hmm. Well, I have a whole shelf worth of, well, organic vegan protein powder, because that can be important, especially sometimes you can find yourself eating an awful lot of carbs if you're not watching what you eat. But I have all kinds of spices from garlic to bulk paprika, bulk dill, uh, all kinds of stuff that makes food more flavorful. Then, of course, I keep coconut cream. If you ever get a hankering for whipped cream, there's your alternative. You just put that in the refrigerator and whip it up with a little sugar and some vanilla. It's fabulous. Let me fill their bars. Those are the only vegan ones I can find for protein. <coughs> I keep vegetarian bouillons. Actually, they're not vegetarian. They're vegan bouillons in beef flavored vegetable and no chicken, chicken base. Um, the Cheetos would be my carnivore son. He loves all things processed, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, different things you can find in the store. Annie's tomato soup is vegan, organic, and really, really good. Um, for you tuna fish lovers, we always keep a little bit of that around too. I enjoy that with a little bit of that vegan A's I showed you. I'm going to walk back over here to where I do a lot of cooking. Always keep some of these around. They're good for all kinds of things. You can make vegan sour cream. You can thicken cheese sauces, faux cheese sauces, of course, vegan cheese sauce. Um, I think that's about it for stuff I keep around all the time. Of course, I also have oatmeal and bread flour and other things around because I do do a lot of cooking, but those are kind of the basics. So, Veganuary. What the hell is that anyway? Well, Veganuary, I'm not sure where it started exactly, although there is a group uh, on Facebook and online, and you can sign up for recipes and um, different things to go along with it. But it is committing to an entire month of eating nothing but vegan food. Um, now, I want to make sure everybody realizes I'm not a doctor, I'm not a health professional, I'm not a health worker. I... I'm just an advocate of vegan food and uh, eating without animal products. Uh, I've been a vegan for about six years now, although over the past year I've fallen back into some vegetarian 
things, like I've eaten a little bit of cheese, and I added some eggs back to my diet about a year ago because I was finding I wasn't getting enough protein. Not that you can't from a vegan diet, but I wasn't really concentrating on it. But you need to check with your own health professionals and stuff before you do anything drastic and do drastic changes with your diet. So just let me leave that there. So for me, for my husband and I, and he's probably going to not follow it completely, uh, we're going to do 30 days of vegan eating for the month of January 2021. And we're also laying off anything that's alcoholic for the entire month just as a reset. Uh, this year has been a little different, of course, but normal years, we would have holiday parties and different things going on and you end up imbibing a lot more than you would like to. So we're just going to lay off for the month of January, kind of reset for the year, um, take on a little extra exercise and commit to walking our neighborhood and exercising ourselves um, with the equipment that we have at home and just get a good healthy start on 2021. And I thought I'd do a little vlogging. I'll do uh, some recipes and some ways to help you out to stay on a vegan track. And even if you don't commit to an entire month, even just one day a week, you can learn something new. You can help save the planet a little uh, by not eating animal products. And it can be fun to, and a challenge to try something new. So, um, Stay tuned. There'll be lots more.